This machine is very affordable, but a lot of companies when they buy a machine they just look at ticket price. They don't look at the, the running cost, they don't look at the value of the components they're getting through the machine, and it, it's the total cost of ownership over a period of time, a 10 year or longer period of time, that people have to look at, not just the ticket price. Lee, in this episode talking about the Hecate Compact range, we're, we're specifically focusing really on um, the efficiency, cost per part, cost of ownership, everything that is so, so important to manufacturers today. Now, I must say at this point, there is a, uh, a full suite of videos uh, and movies on the Compact range from Hecate that we've been doing over previous weeks, which talk about everything from um, the control system, the automation element, uh, swarf tool changers, pallet changers, gantry loaders, spindles, the whole shooting match. This to me is a bit of a summary of all of that because all of those elements really are important in what we're talking about. So perhaps you could just start by talking about what efficiency is and why it's important. Well, at the end of the day, Paul, everybody buys a machine to make money and, and, and our business is about keeping spindles turning. So all of those things you just discussed are all small parts of the jigsaw that, that give the overall the overall picture. The most important thing for us is to be producing the lowest cost component reliably and with absolute 100% uptime or as near as we can get to it. Okay, now that's cost of part, making it quickly and efficiently. Cost of ownership, what's that? Summarise that and what that means to a potential purchaser, what we class a, a very affordable um, machine here. That's a really important question because this machine is very affordable. But a lot of companies, when they buy a machine, they just look at ticket price. They don't look at the, the running cost. They don't look at the value of the components they're getting through the machine. And it, it's the total cost of ownership over a period of time, a 10 year or longer period of time, that people have to look at, not just the ticket price. And does that include the amount of hours that that spindle's running? I suppose it does, because that means, in turn, what you're making. But it absolutely does. I said we try and get near as near to 100% as we can. Our customers typically run 98, 99% availability of spindle. Now if that spindle's running all the time because you're continuously pallet changing and you're not stopping to load and unload parts, you're getting a lot of throughput from a machine like this. And, and what about the energy consumption? How does that fare with a machine of this nature? We're looking at a twin pallet, five axis machine here. And as we've discussed in the series of videos which you can catch on our YouTube channel or the MTD website, that there's various versions of the compact range. Do they chew a lot of juice? Well, we, we run an energy recovery system on these machines, so of course they chew juice, all machines chew juice. What we do here, we operate a system a bit like a Formula One Kurs system. We create energy as the machine's running. Typically on a machine this size, you can save as much as 10,000 euros per year on operating costs compared to a machine that doesn't have these systems. And there's a lot of systems within the machine that contribute to this. Uh, so in evaluation, if you were looking or talking to a, a small to medium sized company, which is in a lot of senses where we're targeting these movies to companies that, that may feel these machines are out of their reach, how do you justify that cost of ownership to them? Is it by making comparisons of current plant that they've got and comparing what they're getting with those to what they get with this? How do you go about that? Well, I would say firstly check out the ticket price because it's not as scary as people think. These are a very cost competitive machine. But then dig deeper, look at the energy costs and, and, and the, the energy recovery value over a period of time. But most importantly, look at the cost per part, look at the productivity you're going to get from this kind of machine. Spec it the right way and you're going to be manufacturing parts better, faster, cheaper than, than you would have been doing yesterday. And my last question here, Lee, because I'm sure it's on people's minds. Um, this is a horizontal machining centre. Now, there will be shops out there, the ones we're targeting, the small shops that have got lots of vertical machines, five axis machines. They're going, that horizontal, that's, that's not right for me. But, but it could be, couldn't it? Sure it could. If you look at the advantages of a horizontal with the swarf clearance, the gravity, the way you can load parts, the way you can keep the spindle running, all those things mean productivity. We go into a shop and we look at a, a bank of vertical machines and we can do the same amount of work with one horizontal machine. Less floor space, cheaper to run, more productivity. You can then expand your business and, and put more horizontals in that space you've just gained.